Cetaceans are animals that live in a dark, large, mixed environment where sound is especially important to them. So sonar from powerful human systems like military sonars can have negative effects on all of their vital life functions. The study that we're currently doing is really unique and it's really the first of its kind to be able to address behavior and the behavioral responses to military sonar in some of the most common cetacean species. We've come up with a unique integration of ways of sensing these animals that accounts for the fact that they occur in groups. It's kind of like studying a flock of birds. If you just tag one bird, you might not get a picture of the whole group. So we've tuned some of our ways of observing them, visually seeing them, of listening to them, of tracking them over large distances by tracking the whole group. But it also includes direct coordination and collaborations with the military. And in multiple instances, we've coordinated with sonars that are dipped from helicopters where we know there's a group of animals in a certain location and according to methodological and experimental protocols and permitted conditions um, related to our, our federal research permits and animal care and use committee protocols, we can position an actual active Navy source at a certain location and coordinate with the pilot of a helicopter to transmit sonar in a, in a certain way that, that we can investigate um, experimentally. It gives us the first insight into how these animals respond to these types of active sonar signals that we know are present in their environment in a controlled way. And they basically told us that these animals respond to these types of signals in different ways, changing their calling behavior, in terms of changing their movement and speed and spacing, and in terms of their overall group composition. One of the really interesting and maybe surprising things that we found was that each of those changes occurs on very different time windows and time lags. The acoustic responses happen instantaneously. The movement responses take seconds to minutes for the animals to reorient and realign and change speed. And then the social changes occur over minutes to tens of minutes where the group composition can change in groups of what can sometimes be hundreds to, to even thousands of individuals. Two different subspecies of common dolphins were significantly more sensitive to these types of sonar than we would have predicted from um, earlier information, which was a kind of a combination of observations and laboratory studies that are done in very different contexts. So having direct measurements in an experimental and controlled setting provides information to the military in terms of evaluating how we assess and predict the impacts of Navy sonar on these protected cetaceans. One of the things I think we'd like to see is it being incorporated into the decision-making process, not just in the U.S., but in other countries.